season two of Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show, presented by Mattress Firm. For the next week, you'll be living in the mountains of Colorado, forced to face your biggest fears. If you survive, you'll win $25,000. Below you is the camp, your home for the week. But if you win this challenge, you'll be staying in the beautiful Mattress Firm Chalet and safe from elimination tonight. All you have to do is solve this simple puzzle. You already have a piece with you. You just need to get down here first. It's a whole new season. It's a whole new game. It felt completely at odds with every experience you've ever had on an airplane. Your heart stops. The reality really hit, but there's no turning back. I don't want to skydive, but I do want to win this competition. I'm willing to jump out of a plane to do it. I don't think I have any fears, but we're strapped in and I'm shaking like a fucking wet chihuahua. Ooh, it's crazy! Damn! It's crazy! As soon as I found out we were skydiving, I was all in. I've always wanted to skydive. I had no second thoughts. I was pumped. If we're going skydiving, I'm doing it. There's no way I'm ending my chances on this show on the first episode. I'm freaking out a little bit because it's really real, but I knew that I couldn't back out. All I was trying to do was just shut my brain off so I didn't think any bad thoughts and then pray for the best. Too fat to jump out of the plane. I was 280 pounds. Big boy. Biggest I've ever been. And I lost 20 pounds in about 20 days. It wasn't enough. And here they come. It all comes down to this puzzle. First one to finish will be safe from elimination and will win a night in the Mattress Firm Chalet. I am all turned around right now. This is a hard one. The picture is supposed to look like one cohesive thing. I had it, now I really don't. My job at Barstool is to be behind the camera. This is my chance to be in front of it. The only person that can beat me is probably me. I just can't overthink things and I can't sabotage myself. Wait, fuck. I did it backwards. I've been at Barstool for five years. I'm friends with everyone, but I'm not gonna win 25K by being the nice guy. Dude, this is like really something else. This is my third Barstool reality show. I'm going to control this game from day one. Either get on board or I'm sending you home. Francis went to Harvard, what's going on here? Yeah, we didn't do this. I'm not here for money, I'm here for pride. I have the brain to compete with anybody here, but I won't compromise my integrity to win. Megan's kind of dance dance revolutioning hers right know, now, just kind of game. touching pieces, hoping they'll light up. I left my kids for a week to do this show. I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't confident I could win. People are going to underestimate me. My plan is to lay low and strike at the perfect moment. How the fuck hard is this puzzle? Jesus right. Christ. I'm the glue guy at Barstool. I'm gonna try and work with everyone. But if you come after me, I'm gonna be forced to come after you. Race is shuffling right now like a casino dealer. I'm usually cracking jokes and having fun, but this time I'm here to show my competitive side and walk away $25,000 richer. Wrong! Fuck! 
Is that, are you done? We, we might have, oh, fuck. Can we check this? I don't think that's right. Fuck. I don't know if that's right. Oh, this is not it. That's not it at all. I hate puzzles. What have I done? Fuck. How the fuck? Done. Ja Jackie's done? Jackie might be done? God damn you, ja Jackie got it. Nice job, Jackie. Congratulations to our winner. Jackie, take your spot on the Mattress Firm winner's bed. You've earned it. You've earned it. Rudy, maybe some applause. She earned it. I was getting there. Jackie, how does it feel? Um, it feels good. I want it. This is nothing against Francis, but I want on record that I beat a Harvard graduate in a puzzle. Why do you guys care about that so much? Because I, I, it, I beat a Harvard graduate in we'll a puzzle. We'll see who has the money at the end, Jackie. No, 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 that wasn't against. You. That was just, I just I'm gonna want, remember this. No, 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 I just, I just, I was just saying, I just want it on record. You don't have to back it off. You just won the challenge, yeah. Jackie. Yeah, you beat me. Tonight, you'll be staying in the mattress firm chalet. You have become the head of the house, the shaman of the chalet. Things are pretty good, how's that feel? Uh, I'm excited to stay there. Pat, did you expect to see Jackie sitting on the mattress firm winner's bed? Jackie is a competitor. Jackie likes to downplay her um, intelligence, but I think Jackie's here to win. And I think Jackie is very good at puzzles. I think she's someone we gotta watch out for. Someone we didn't have to watch out for, Dana Beers. Unfortunately, I don't know why we're clapping. I don't know why we're clapping. Because we love him. It's good to see him. It's a lot of love for Dana Beers, but unfortunately, you didn't have a chance to stay at the Mattress Firm Chalet tonight. What happened up there? Uh, probably had too many too many rolls at Texas Roadhouse the other night. Didn't make weight. Couldn't cut. Um, but I'm here. <laughs> what are you laughing at, dude? That's fucked, dude. Why are you laughing? I wanted to compete. I was jealous of everybody skydiving, so I don't want anyone to think that I'm, you know, bowing out or anything, because obviously that's not the, the case here. But listen. It's a sad scene, and it, I'm, I'm sad. I'll, I'll put it that way, I'm sad. I mean, hopefully this is the wake-up call you needed. I, don't, I lost 20 pounds in the, in the month of April, so, you know. You comedians are ruthless. Still not enough, though. Still not enough. Okay, Jackie, congratulations on winning the challenge. Because you won the challenge, you are going to be staying at the Mattress Firm Chalet tonight, and you are safe from elimination tonight. Everyone else, you are on the chopping block, and Everyone will be voting on who goes home. Everyone will be voting on who goes home. So what's gonna happen now is everybody is going to head out to the camp. Camp's very close to here. You take a little saunter over there. You start to make yourself at home. Hope you had fun skydiving. Jackie, you're the champ. You've earned it. Why don't you slide back? Make yourself comfortable. You know what I mean? You're going to be getting used to the Mattress Firm Chalet because that's where you'll be staying tonight. And when you get there, you're going to notice that there are actually two bedrooms. This is what I don't want. Which means that you'll get to pick someone from the camp to stay with you at the Mattress Firm Chalet. And that person will also be safe from elimination. You'll have a leg up on the rest of the competitors because you'll have a beautiful night of sleep on a mattress firm mattress. All right, we've got a car waiting for you. Hit the road, Jack. Toodaloo. Those fucking bones? Are we all sharing the same this thing? 110. I don't want to be near anyone that snores. I'm saying that right now. Initial reaction, not so not so stoked. <laughs> oh, these are these are what I expected. Wow. I love what they did with the place. It's nice. We're we all gonna fit. Are we all really sleeping in here? This is like Lord of the Flies. All right. So, there's only six beds, and there's seven of us, which means someone's going home. Which means I don't even want to put my stuff on here because I feel like it's bad luck. That's kind of what I I took mine off. Finding out we all have to share a big tent is an absolute nightmare. I love them all, but I do not want to sleep with these people. That's very communal. We're going to know each other. I hope people don't have a problem with my white noise machine. It's really a lovely space when you look at it. Looks like a place where a group of cannibals used to live. So it's a lounge. Oh. It's like, um, this is where we go to. It's like a cabana in Las Vegas. Yeah. Just trying to play it safe. Enjoy the wilderness. 
as much as I fucking can. I fucking hate the wilderness. This is nice, yeah, I know. Okay, now that we don't have to know that we have to sleep with all those nasty boys. Uh, yeah, so walking up to camp, um, honestly, I thought it was beautiful. I love Colorado, the mountains are fantastic. Camp could be a little bit better, but I'm excited for the tent. It's nice, it's big, it's warm. I'm, I'm, I'm content. I'm genuinely worried I'm gonna break this. What, anyway, the, the cot? Yes. Should we, should we vote you out, out then? Test I did out. break a bed and Maybe we PDA. should vote Dana out, because Dana's gonna break a bed. Old beersy has been back on the sauce. Dana thinks he's gonna break a bed. No, that's, oh, that's, that's actually sturdy. solid, bro. That's firm, boys. That's where the magic happens. Oh, you oh, know? Oh. Just kidding. Oh, So I won the first challenge, very surprisingly, and now I get to stay at the beautiful Mattress Room Chalet, which I'm very excited about. Oh my God, this is so cute! Wow! Mattress Room Chalet! This is nice. This is much nicer than my apartment. Holy shit, do we see this? Are we getting in on this? This is insane, this is an insane view. When I get a bad night's sleep, I'm groggy, I'm irritable, I'm unfocused, I can't think straight. So that means that this mattress fern bed could be the difference between me winning and losing. Oh, this is my room. I mean, this is my room. This is fantastic. Oh yeah. This is, this is making it all worth it. It doesn't even matter if they're talking behind my back right now because I have this glorious bed. I have heating, I have a bed, I have bathrooms. What do they have? I don't know, a tent, maybe? Oh, and I have a little winner's outfit over here. I don't have to dress like the rest of the losers. I will go change into my bare bottom jumpsuit. I'm gonna just try to lay low. This is gonna be anti Barstool versus America spider. Um, instead of trying to cause chaos, I'm just gonna try to be a good comrade, keep everyone uh, happy, not try to bother anyone and let everyone else fuck up. Going into the show, I think my closest friends are Jackie and Pat. I think uh, we'd be a good alliance uh, as long as Jackie has a good head on her shoulders and Pat doesn't stake me out the ass. I think that could be a good triangle. None of us put our stuff on the bed because we thought it's bad luck to do that, except for one fucking guy. Hang on basketball. I think we all remember what happened on Barcelona vs. America. And I did not forget. This might be the dumbest thing I've ever done, Don't but I gotta do go with my gut. I'm sending Pat home. Hats off to Dana Beers with the scumbag move of the century. So I've been working with a couple cohorts here. I'm out of breath to make sure that Mr. Beers is gone. Challenge winner gets to come here, but they're away from the camp. And I know the person here kind of feels like they should have the power, but it's kind of a disadvantage because everyone's talking and planning and strategizing together. Right now, they don't know that I have the power to save somebody, and I don't think I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna take this time that I get one-on-ones talking to people to try and figure out what's going on at camp rather than having them plead to me why they should stay here because my mind's kind of already made up on that. But right now, I think that I'm gonna bring up Pat Guys, I'm about to go diarrhea. I'll be back in five minutes. Um, so Jackie just called me up to the house. I, no one knows, no one knows that I'm going up to the house. Um, I don't think anyone is on to me. Where's Patrick? He said he had to go diarrhea. Can't get over this oh. Of <laughs> Pat's on his way up. I'm trying to figure out how to, like the least menacing way. I don't want him to come in and be like, and me to be like, welcome but I want it to be more like, welcome. So I want to either, I can't tell if I should sit here, have him sit there, or maybe I come here. She's like, oh my God, welcome in. I mean, what are we doing here? I mean, I should have had my fucking jigsaw puzzle figured out ahead of time. This is like, let's just, I'm just gonna go in. Adio. Well, well, well. Look what? Sitting like Cruella de Vil. No, in her, that's exactly what I was trying to knock off. In on. her chair. All you need is a long cigarette was, and some puppies. No, I was trying to do the opposite. I was trying to be as unmenacing as possible. I tried to like fit, I like snuck out 
Oh wait, so people, so they don't know, right? I was like, I have to go diarrhea. Oh, okay, oh, good. Okay. I was worried that they are gonna like, it was gonna be suspicious. I wanna get rid of Dana first. Okay. And I kinda what feel if, bad though. Cause he don't didn't the let emotions get in the way. Think about the I money, know. think about the glory. I just want Dana out first because it's personal because he fucked yeah, me yeah, out of ten thousand yeah, yeah. dollars. Okay. And the longer he stays around, the more of a chance he has to win a challenge. And if he wins a challenge and he gets the house, then he's gonna bring people up here and say, "Get Pat out." Pat cannot be trusted. He is capable of anything, and he is definitely a great competitor. But he is a scumbag. So I will warn everybody on the show to basically be prepared for him to be slimy. And if they don't believe me, that's on them. If these people cared about making people laugh in comedy, they would send me home tonight. So I'm a little worried because we got some comedians in this group. It would be funny if the guy that couldn't compete in the challenge because he was too large got sent home that night. But hopefully I can stay because I really do. I really, I really do want to win this thing. Um, and I want to compete. It kind of is lame for us to like have this immense bonding experience where we all jump out of an airplane together and then we have to execute one of them. Yeah, but there was one person that didn't though. There is one person whose participation only went so far as about 70%. That, that said person, is it even their fault? Yes. You're right. He had plenty of time to lose the weight. <laughs> <laughs> While you're battling with your conscience, I'll take solace from knowing that I'm actually saving his life. <laughs> if we don't vote him off, he's gonna lose a foot. That's just where this is going. He knew we were gonna have to skydive. He knew the weight he had to make. It's like a boxer showing up for a 140 pound fight at like 205 eating chicken wings, having ranch all over his face. Seriously, Dana, did you turn anything down? Right now, like if you've talked to people about Dana, I promise you I will vote Dana. Okay. I think I can trust you. I think it's Dana. I'm gonna go back to that nightmare. Can I pee before I go, please? Queen of the shot, Cruella DeVille. Do you promise that we have an alliance? Yes, Cruella de Nichols. Don't call me that. Oh. Can I, I, can I pinky promise? I pinky promise. You, you can use the bathroom if you, if I, you don't fuck me up. I promise you. All right, Dana's gone. And then we'll just reconvene as we go and we'll just pick people off. They're all trying to vote you out, I'm not gonna lie. Are you serious? They're all saying we had an experience up there today. I'm not trying to put a target on anyone's back. I'm just wanting you to be aware of what's happening. So let's pivot. What's the contingency plan? I want to be with you and Rudy. I'm kind of with that. So who who, who needs to go? <laughs> you want me to be completely honest? Yeah, who's a threat? Pat? Yeah, I'm kind of with that as well. I just want you to be aware of, of, of the of the... Now, I'm not saying it's for sure. No, certain. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's why I'm confident. Yeah, that well, I hope that garners a... a, a it really does. Something in, in the... Yeah. I mean, hopefully we can figure the shit out, though, because I'm not trying yeah, to leave no, and no. not do anything. I'm with you. I'm with you. That I think would it would suck. be bitch-made if you came out here to get dangerous and you just got voted out. If anyone asked, we were talking outhouses. That's the plan, right? Yes, I swear. On a one to 10 for how much I trust Jackie, it's a six and a half. And I hope that that increases over time because I would really hate to send Jackie home. Dana! I didn't want you to be alone. I actually just got some intel and I'm a little scared. Why, what happened? Spider was like, he was telling me that they want to vote me out. He was saying the girls were talking about it. And I'm like, what the fuck? I haven't had a chance to, to talk to my homies yet. Yeah, I know. If you feel like the heat's on, then Talk to me. I'm open to all suggestions. I, I, I think the biggest threat is Pat. Just as I think being a, on shows with him before, he's a wild card. Yeah. Um, I think also, I can, I'm not surprised that you'd want to vote for him given the history. And I do think he is a strong competitor. Yeah. Me, you and Spider, that'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be a good th trio. I, if us three vote Pat, that may not be enough. I know. So Which kind of throw a wrench in everything. Well, no, but then we can just get in people's ear, just like. I'm, I'm open to, I mean, I think everyone can say, I'm open to literally anybody but yeah. me. Yeah, same. Yeah. Dana didn't compete in the challenge, but that just sucks. Like he didn't, it wasn't his fault. I mean, I guess the 29 years of eating carbs, like it's an Olympic sport is his fault, but still. Guys, 
Pat just disappeared. Where did he go? He said he had diarrhea. Do I don't think that's that? true. I think that's fake news too. Is Jackie somehow pulling strings with Pat? There's I don't no know how way. she just vanished There's from no camp. There's no way. No. He vanished. He did vanish. No He way. said some diarrhea bullshit. I don't know if I what believe that. What if he could be with Jackie? No chance. I don't know. Nobody knows where he went. Pat's just, he says he's taking a dump. He's got diarrhea. Buddy, we all got diarrhea, okay? We don't just fucking disappear for 20, 30 minutes. Oh, there he is. There's Pat. I see Pat. Oh, okay, let's get back down there. Let's yeah. get back to camp. All right. All right. Let's go walk back down. I agree. If you want to make Pat a thing, we got to start yeah, we gotta whipping start the votes. People. So I, that's why I was trying to go over there, but <laughs> they, were they, were all, they were so focused on Pat's pooping habits. I know. Okay, the chair thing didn't work the last time. Rudy's coming up, and I got to uh, figure out the least menacing chair to sit in. And this obviously is not it. Here, a little. I think this is kind of not menacing. Kind of not happy that I'm away from camp because that's where things can go south if you're not around, but I feel pretty good, so. Excited to see what Jackie has to say. Hello? Hey, all. What the fuck? I know, there's no casual way to sit <laughs> and have everybody come in. I'll say this. I talked to Pat. Mm -hmm. He said that he talked to Francis, mm -hmm. and Francis gave him the idea of Dana. That's who gave me the idea of Dana. And so then I think if you vote Dana, I just feel bad. I really feel bad. I feel bad, Dana, but it Dana sucks. Home. Like at some point, some like point somebody has to go home. Right. You don't like. I feel bad. Like my knee jerk reaction was like he didn't even get the chance to compete. Like I know. that sucks. Really fucking sucks. Yeah. I and feel so, bad. but at the same time, I'm not gonna be like playing like. Just because you feel bad. Yeah. Like exactly. at a certain we point, like if you do that, then all of a sudden you're out, and it's like, well, fuck. Yeah. So I told Dana because Dana's on it. I was like, you need to start like whipping the votes towards Pat. Dana. Yes. Let's say that you and I were to. A lie. I want to hear the order right now in which you would eliminate all the players until the final three. Pat. Grace. Wow. Megan, Jackie. Pretty sexist. <laughs> all three women gone like that. And a gay guy. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, that's the four that I would like to just be. Get it to those four. Yes, that's, in an ideal world, that's what I would like. I think Pat is probably a threat. I think you might be right about that. I just know from experience, and he'll say the same thing about me, and that's fair. You got some New York strip beef. Too much beef. A lot of beef? Yeah. Mm. You know how the French say beef? No. Boof. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, man. Oh, get out I'm of here. I'm gonna miss you tomorrow. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, it's Spider. Hey, Spider. Can I come hey. in? Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. We need people not to be fucking sneaky, Spider. I'm not being sneaky. Who yes, you? Don't lie. Who I you? swear to God. We don't talk to Dana. We've seen you talk to Dana. What has Dana said? He did go around and was like, Francis is smart as fuck. He was definitely throwing the, pro the puzzle challenge. Pat, Pat's a fucking like reality veteran. Exactly. Like he knows how to play these games savagely. I'm listen. I can be sold. All I'm asking <laughs> in return is is uh, the security and you're, trust. You're, I got you. Yeah. If you like, got me. Yeah. All right. We, we both had. Don't be a snake. I don't know if this is allowed, but maybe there's a way where I can send you a signal on which way we got to go when we're at the ceremony. Yeah. Like. That's Dana. Okay. And then that's Pat. Pat. Dana. I feel like that's Pat. really kind of obvious when you do that. That is that a lot? Do the Dana. Okay. Do the Pat. You can't wink. I don't know why I can't wink. No, that's just a blink. Okay. You can't. We can switch to cross-eyed if it's easier. No one's gonna notice okay. if you go cross-eyed. Okay. It's Pretty really much anything easy. that I do with my eyes other than that. There's a million things you can do with your eyes. Just I'm, Dana is blink, blink, and then Pat, Pat is just a real quick. No one's gonna. That's too much. Just a little, like a little. Ooh. Yes. Okay. okay. So One. we're officially switching. Pat is a little cross. Okay. Dana is double blink. But here's the thing. Okay. Just real quick. Mm -hmm. If I'm double crossing the same time that you're double crossing. We can't see that we're double crossing each other, double cross eyeing each other. Do you understand? Because, like, do a cross eye right now to me, and I'm gonna do a cross eye? Yeah, that's a good point. I can't see that. If we somehow collide cross eyes, you just have to go first. I won't do anything until I see yours. Dana, Pat, 
I thought we were gonna go with one eye. I like. can do the wink. I can do the wink. You do the cross eye. Okay. I feel like we're we're harping too much on this. Yes. All right. Real lines. Real lines. Later. Gang shit. The people at home. That's what I like to call an intellectual clinic right there. Two of the biggest minds in game show history. Only took us 10 minutes to figure out an eye signal. Hey, Rudy. Hey, where'd you go, man? Huh? Huh? What? Where'd I go? Just establishing a perimeter. That's a big area. I had to get a big perimeter. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. No, I, uh, Jackie wanted to talk to me, so I went and talked to Jackie. Jesus Christ. You could do that? Yeah, she requests. I guess she, has, she requests. Mm -hmm. Like the wow. Wizard of Oz? Yeah. And he's very honest about it, because that's how he plays the game. I just want to be honest with you guys. Uh, Jackie called me up. We talked a little. I just want you guys to know I don't want to, you know, have any secrets with you guys. Bullshit, Rudy. Rudy just plays the nice guy all the way through. See right through that. If Jackie summoned me, I'd say thanks, but no thanks. There you go, Francis. <laughs> I would, Put your I foot would, down. I would turn her down. <laughs> huh? Oh. You're being summoned next. I'm getting the, I got the, I got the nod? Yeah. Yo, oh. I, you know what? Jackie's all right. <laughs> oh, I don't mind oh, Jackie. Oh, you go back on your word. Two-time ambassador. <laughs> Uh, this ended up being just as menacing as that chair. So I think I need to have a new approach. I think I need to be doing something. I'm thinking something humble. I'm thinking about like washing dishes. This house is sick. Wow. And then when he comes in, I'm just like, oh my God, I didn't even like realize you were coming up right now. I'm so sorry, I was in the middle of the dishes. The lady awaits. Been summoned like, the, like she's the Wizard of Oz or something. Oh, hello. What's up? Are you ready for me or no? I'm ready for you. I was just wow, doing this. this is sick. She what talked to you? Yeah. I didn't even see the bitch when I went up there to poo. Hey! Liar, you dirty, <laughs> dirty liar. I didn't see her. Liar. So you did talk to her? No, I didn't. I didn't see her when I was up there. They just put me into poop and I left. Again, I call, I call first off, I called the, the whole where you were. And so what I also think, this is the next thing I'll call. I think that she's gonna be able to pull one of us from camp tonight to go to the house and stay with her because if she won, they're not gonna allow the winner to be by themselves. The winner needs someone to hang out with. Yeah, so not only am I a rookie, but I am a, I'm an outsider. So I've been keeping my ear and my eyes on absolutely everyone. Uh, I haven't really let anyone out of my sight and I did call everyone going up to uh, see Jackie. So I feel like my head is in the right space here. Have you seen the camp? No, I haven't. What's it like? Bad. Really? It's a bad experience. Really? Everything that's happening over there, not good. We are all sleeping in the same tent. Yeah, that's kind of weird. All of us. Wait, but that's what I have FOMO about. Are you guys going to talk about me in the tent? We're going to be farting on each other and stuff. I want no part of that. Yeah, it's going to be gross. That's, that's why we got to get Dana Beers out, because he smells So that's worst. what I wanted to talk to you about. Let's really get down bad. to brass tacks. She's got a major problem. Can't stop eating. So Pat, uh, Rudy, Francis all got summoned. Nah, shit, I didn't get summons. My only question is, what about using the bathroom that we have? I didn't even know we had a bathroom. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Oh, that's a great point, Dana. Where's Fuck. the bathroom? <laughs> right there. Where? That's the tent. I'm just asking it's questions. Behind it. Seems yeah. like you might have just got caught in a lie. Also, you I don't did, think weird, I did You did weirdly, like just out of nowhere, just announce that you had diarrhea. My goal here is to take things one day at a time. Yeah. Right? Yep. Tomorrow same. we're gonna wake up, we're gonna have a totally different reality. Mm -hmm. New challenge, new cast, new new mixed up situation. Today, we have a certain amount of control. Yes. To just how we want this day to end. You have a lot of control, because mm -hmm. you're safe. Right now I'm trending up, I would say. We gotta just sort of, we gotta press some people. Yeah. I would press, if I were you, I'd press Megan pretty hard. Okay. I'll talk to her. If, if you realize that there's like very clearly an alliance and you're on your heels, you'd be like, this dude's, he literally just lied right. to you, your face. Okay. All right, love it. I fucking love you. Love you. <laughs> why are you being lying? Why are you, I'm not lying. Why? If we are, we don't have you can't lie. Now you have to be truthful. I am truthful. I swear to God. That I you just swear had diarrhea. I promise you. In that what do you mean direction. That long. You have to fucking <laughs> go up to the thing and come back. What do I have to gain from fucking lying? Nothing. I don't know. I feel like it, it just like I you were the first one to go, so you didn't have anything to say. So you decided 
diarrhea is the first exit. I mean, you've when you gotta go, you gotta go. Um, come on, we can't, you we can't use that excuse. You're not. I'm not promising a lot. My word is, obviously I can't vote for you tonight, and I won't vote for you tomorrow. Okay. Deal? Deal. All right. I like that. Dana tonight? Dana. And that means I expect you not to vote for me tomorrow, which I didn't even ask you to say. You didn't actually ask me that, but I'm not going to. I, New deal. New deal? I won't vote for you tonight, tomorrow, but you, ah, oh, fuck. Two nights, and then we'll have another conversation. And then we'll have another conversation. You're not my, you're not my third night person. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm just saying I don't want to lie. I don't know. So let's just have another conversation tomorrow. Okay. We're going to be talking a lot. All right. God, you got Wi-Fi here? Golly. He makes me uneasy. I think the fact that he was reluctant to make any sort of long-term alliances makes me nervous that he's already in an alliance. I think I have a target on my back for sure. And I think I'm definitely going to need to get Francis out before Francis gets me out. Dana. What up? Oh, we're sitting on the log? Yeah, we're having, we're having a talk skis. How are you feeling, man? Uh, I'm okay. I, I, I've, I know people are probably like thinking about voting me out. It's I'm just trying to so show people the sketchiness that is Pat with him lying. I mean, he is definitely lying. So it's I'm a 100% that's, a lie. And he did say that he promises he didn't talk to Jackie. He just pooped. You see it there. I see it. He's, he's got these. He's got these moves. And I need him to tell me why he's lying. He won't. He won't. He won't own up to it. Everyone's everyone's on alert right now. I oh, mean, I'm I'm paranoid. I don't know about you. You don't gotta be. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, Dana is probably going home, um, but I still feel bad because he didn't even compete today. So I kind of just want to talk to him and I want to just see where his head's at. Oh, Dana got no. summoned. Me I think either. Dana got summoned. I think. I, I did. Think yeah? Yes. Oh, oh shit. Why are we last? Oh shit. Wait, he's got someone to yeah, Jackie? Yeah. Just now? Yeah. I definitely oh, thought you were out of next. Grace, are we fucked? She hates women, man. I'm, I'm telling you, she she's hates sexist. women and spider. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you you're left too. Yeah. Basically, everyone's voting for Dana. And Dana's gonna come back and try and say that I lied about going there, which I did, and then try and turn everyone against me. Uh, place is beautiful. Hello. What's up? Welcome Where do I to sit, the right here? Yeah, yeah, you can sit anywhere. Hell yeah. Yeah. Was Pat here? Pat was here. Okay, I thought so. He Why? lied to everyone and said that he wasn't here. Oh. Yes. Well, don't tell him that I said that he was here. He's still denying it and everyone after knowing that we're all going up here, which is why we're all sketched out. So we all had the feeling that Pat went up and talked to Jackie. I confirmed it with Jackie. We've known there's been snakes in the grass, and now we got an anaconda, and we're acting like we're surprised. Come on, boys. We're better than this. Someone what? Someone wanted me that they were selling Oh, the guy who openly hates my guts is trying to turn you against me? Shock. Mm. Crazy. Well, the guy just, who fucked me out of ten thousand dollars the last game show is trying to get you to vote for me. Man, I was assuming how original. But I mean, you still have not admitted that you were something. You can't get me to admit to something that didn't happen. Just come out. Tell us. I have come out. <laughs> like if Pat was gone, and then there's the seven of us, I think it's wide open. Like of who I would be able to make a deal with or work with. Would you want to work with me at any point? Yeah. Can I trust you? Yeah. Again, I don't, I don't, I'm not capable of like. But I've heard that you are. But from Pat. Yeah. And that's the biggest snake of them all. I feel bad if we vote Dana. Do you think that getting rid of him is a smart play in the game? Is he going to be hard to get rid of later? No. I, I don't know about that because Barstool versus America, like he wasn't a bad competitor. No, but also he yeah, like, was fucking good too. I know. I'm, and I he am, was slimy as fuck. He lied to all of us right there. He did yeah. lie. He lied. To, he literally swore to God, and he is not a good Catholic for doing that. Pat and Francis, I think those are the two guys that, if they're gone, life gets a lot easier for everybody. My brain hurts a lot, and I don't really feel like playing games this time. Thank you. I'm the um, same way. Okay. Then I feel like I feel like we're good here. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. See ya. See ya. Right now, I have two plans. It's either one, pull up Grace, because I want to reinforce um, her trust in me, 
because I think she might be a little suspicious that I didn't pull her up, or B, and the producer in me really wants to do this, I stir the pot a little bit and I save Dana. It just depends on if I have balls or not. But I'm feeling kind of ballsy as a winner right now. Welcome. Come on in, guys. Hey, take a stump. Welcome to the cliffside. Beautiful vistas. Colorado air. Pat, Francis. Is that Dana? Yes, sure sir. Is. Hey, Rudy, what's going on, brother? Hello. Grace O'Malley. And there's Megan making money. Spider, what's going on, gang? How are you? Good to see you all. And hey, why don't we send in Jackie? Jackie! Sure. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to clap anymore, really. Yeah. Jackie. So Hello. Right. Thanks Good for talking Lord. to us today. Shut up. Well fed. <laughs> Clean. Jackie, we miss you, man. Your Take a seat on your mattress firm mattress after a nice, beautiful day at the mattress firm chalet. Welcome, everyone, to the elimination arena. Every night, we'll be congregating here to eliminate someone from Barstool's most dangerous game show. And if you get eliminated, that means that you don't get $25,000, $25,000. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how I felt too. But before we get into all that, Jackie, mm -hmm. you have an announcement to make. So in the um, beautiful mattress firm chalet, um, there's another room. What did I say? And with that room comes um, the ability to save somebody tonight. Um, with that, I have thought this person, although they seem fine now, I thought that maybe they were in their head about being worried that they're gonna be voted off. And so I decided to save them of that panic. So Grace, would you like to stay with me in the matches from Chalet? Yes, yes I would. Okay, okay. Grace, yes. please, what? why don't you take a seat over here on this mattress for a mattress? <laughs> I'm so I'm psychic. I called all of this. Did anyone see this coming? Megan, you're saying you're psychic? I did. I, I, we were wondering where everyone was going. I, Jackie doesn't like women. She didn't pick me or Grace to, you know, oh, wow. come oh, talk to her. I'm sorry about that. Well, well I, that's what I was trying to, I knew that I was gonna look like I didn't like women, but I, okay. Do I, you like women? I just decided I picked the people who I was most scared of. I shouldn't say that. Jesus. Who'd you pick? Mm, I'm not gonna say that either. I mean, we all know. Who'd she pick? I went. Francis I went. went. I went. Dana went. Rudy went. We thought, we thought, we thought he went. Pat? They thought I went. He did. I went to the bathroom. No, he went. Jackie, did he go? No, we, he didn't. I got sources, he won. No, I told you that he did. <laughs> well, you told him that he did or did it? Dana said to me, uh, with Pat up here, and he seemed like he was gonna be mad if I said yes, so I said yes. So I'm confused. That did make Pat any sense. go and meet with you or not, Jackie? Pat did not come meet with me, no. This, and you're saying that that's not true, Dana? Well, that was my knowledge, so I guess I was wrong, but that just seems very sketchy to make up on both ends. Pat, you might have got a lot of sun today, but your face is getting a little red. Well, maybe it's the diarrhea. Could be the diarrhea. <laughs> so Dana, you know you have a target on your back. How does that make you play differently? I, I haven't played. I just... <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Apparently I have a target on my back even though I haven't cha done any challenges. But I also think people know like you're a competitor. Like people have seen you on the other shows and I don't think it's just because it's an easy thing to do necessarily, but you've won the other shows you've been on. So it's like you're right, definitely a threat in the I game. agree, but you're also a threat, and I'm also not being sketchy all day, and you were. So that's where I'm like, if you, if you want to take the easy way out and vote me out, go for it. But you kind of have a dude who's been acting strange all day and has a history of kind of being uh, a little sketchy on these shows. If you don't want to take him out now, then what can I do? It's the last act of a desperate man. 
So Jackie, who did you talk to and what did you talk with them about? I talked to Rudy, Francis, and Dana. And I, I mostly just wanted to figure out what was going on at camp. I know it feels like I have the power, but I don't. Like, I feel like everyone's conspiring against me, so I was just trying to make sure that that wasn't happening. And what'd you find out about camp? Um, I found out some names that were tossed around. And they were? Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Who are you thinking of sending home? Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Rudy, Megan, you both have been playing the likability game, flying under the radar trying to be friends with everyone. I was playing that game too. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. I don't think anyone could tell. I was really enjoying myself. I'm not gonna lie. I had a great day. I really had a great day. I was really enjoying it. I don't get to hang out with these guys all the time. Tonight, you know, maybe we vote, vote Megan out and then it's just the dudes in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how fun that oh, would be. Shit. I like you a lot, Megan. You are great. I was telling everyone. I was telling everyone how thinking him how hilarious it could be if you got voted on. Well, you know, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. But I would be sad not to have one night in a tent with all my friends. Yeah, all this nice shit's about to go out the window really fast. Because everybody can pretend not to have an opinion, and everybody can pretend that they're not gonna say anything and that nobody's gonna go home. But guess what? Someone is going home tonight. And you're all about to go cast your votes on the Bureau dans les Bois, which of course Francis means. Well, you said it so poorly, I didn't follow up. Bureau dans les Bois. Oh, the 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 desk in the in the woods. That's right. Okay. There's a desk in the woods over there. You think him even knowing French, maybe that puts a target on his back? Yeah. Should we yeah. vote Francis? What now? are you guys, the He's Weimar smart. Republic? <laughs> a little World it. War II joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's our fun guy. Over two. No idea. So, the six of you are on the chopping block. The two of you are safe. And all eight of you will cast a vote for who is going to go home. Whoever has the most votes will be eliminated from Barstool's most dangerous game show. Does that make sense, Rudy? Mm-hmm. Good. Jackie, why don't you take a walk on down to the Bureau dans les bois and cast that vote. Did you guys really think that Jackie was going to win the competition today? No. Yeah, actually. I, Jackie's sneaky she's good. Smart. She's sneaky good. Is she? She's smart, yeah. yeah. Grace, your turn. Megan, you were at the camp with Grace. There was probably some girl-to-girl -girl camaraderie. So you think you can count on her throughout the next couple phases of the game to still I have I don't know back. if I can count on anybody. Rudy, take that walk on down there. Take that walk, Rudy. Pat, tell me about Rudy's gameplay. Do you think he's trying to overplay the nice guy card? No, I think Rudy just is a nice guy. But I think Rudy is also very, very good at these games. Like, this is his home turf. He's from Colorado. Right. He's part Cherokee. Right, of course. That's going to play into things. Megan make making money. It's your turn. Think long, think hard, and go cast your vote. Spider, spider, spider. You can head on down to the menage a trois. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever done a reality show with Spider before? Psycho. Oh, well, he's insane. A competition psycho, but a in a good way. Spider might be at camp. Who knows, Spider might be going home. But we're gonna be a little bit closer to finding out who's going home once Dana heads on down and makes his vote. What do you guys think about Dana's attitude so far? He's resigned. Yeah. He's resigned himself. Yeah, I, I need more from him. I need more. His face. He's still a lackluster. Yeah, I would why? Have thought he, he never would have, tried. Yeah, I would have thought he would have tried to fight for himself a bit more. Francis, it's your turn. Go have some fun. Go get him, buddy. 
Taking the long way. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's Take your time, brother. You're not down that way. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, you look you look a little shell shocked. Yeah. I mean, I tried to vote for myself, but they told me I couldn't. Why'd you try to do that? How can I be the fun guy if I'm voting for anyone else? Pat, seven people have cast their vote. Why don't you take that walk down to the desk in the woods and make your vote? We all knew this was coming. Dana, Godspeed. Now, it's my turn to go down to the Bureau Dans Les Bois, and I'm going to count the votes, and I'm gonna come back up, and I'm going to let you all know who's been eliminated from Barstool's most dangerous game show. I'm gonna go now. So the votes are in, and we're about to find out who you all voted for to be eliminated from Barstool's most dangerous game show. Let's begin. The first vote, Dana. That one's mine, if it makes you feel any, <laughs> <laughs> you feel any better. Fresh off the top. That's a big Dana. Yeah. You, you meant it. All the space. Whoever wrote this meant it. One vote for Dana. Second vote. Pat. That's me. <laughs> That's mine. That would be the last. One vote for Dana. One vote for Pat. The third vote. Dana. Yeah, that was me. That was <laughs> I was being honest. I really did try to vote for myself because I like Dana. And I felt pretty confident I wasn't gonna get voted off. And then they told me I couldn't do that, so I crossed it out and then put his name. I tried. I, I actually do appreciate that. So we have two votes for Dana and one vote for Pat. Next up. Another vote for Pat. Another vote for Pat. So that makes it two to two. We're all tied up. Next vote. <clears throat> for Dana. For Dana B. Beers. Three votes for Dana B. Two votes for Pat. The next vote. Dana. That's four votes for Dana B. Two votes for Pat, which means that if this next vote is for Dana B, that will be a majority. If the next two votes are for Pat, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> oh, 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 twist, these sons of bitches. The next vote. Deciding vote for Dana. It's a Denny? <laughs> Unfortunately, I believe this is a vote for Dana. <laughs> Cryptically. Written in hieroglyphics or something? <laughs> but assuredly, this means that Dana, you've just been eliminated. That was fun. <laughs> from Barstool's most dangerous game show, and that sounded sarcastic as hell. No, I mean, it's, it's objectively funny that <laughs> I this is happening. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, Barstool's all about making people laugh. I, I think it's funny. I do. It's just, yeah, it's kind of brutal. Pat, mm -hmm. you seem a little smug. Now I'm a little shook. Why? I don't know who voted for me. Am we sleeping in a tent? Probably with someone who voted for me. It's not a good feeling. My radar is up. Yeah, the fact that there was one vote for Pat muddies everything because we know who Dana voted for, 
We know who Francis voted for, and we know who Pat voted for. Mystery, 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 mystery. Dana, unfortunately, your time with us here on Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show has come to a close. You didn't do any of the challenges. You went to the camp for a couple hours. And now you have to leave. However, you will be the first person on the council for Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show. So you still will have a hand in who wins the $25,000 and the bed for a mattress firm. All right. So, Dana, you can go. Thanks for being here. Yep. Anybody needs any gear? <laughs> yeah. I have $500 hey, worth. I'm not Shit, fitting man. in it, Dana. I appreciate it. I will ah. definitely take you up on that. All right. See you guys. See you, bud. Dana. Bye, Dana. Bye. All that. Um, this was an uh, interesting experience. I don't really know what to say. I think I got screwed a little bit. This is supposed to be the summer of Dana Beers. This is a this is gonna be a hit to the summer of Dana Beers, but we, this is what we do in the Dana Beers camp. We, we come back stronger than ever. Kind of funny that everybody's saying sorry to Dana, but you're the ones who send him home. What do you mean sorry? No, I'm not sorry. Grace, are you sorry? I, I'm, I'm sorry for his ass because he could have saved it. <laughs> Feels kind of good to get him out of here, huh? Uh. A little bit closer to the money, though. No, it doesn't though. feel good. It doesn't feel good. I'm just really excited to be with my boys. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> Megan making money and, and the fellas. Who would have thought it, huh? Megan yeah. making movies. Too far. Come on. Married mother of, of two. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, bro. We're going to respect the ring. All right, so this is how it's been divided. Megan, Spider, Francis, Rudy, and Pat, you guys We'll be staying at the camp tonight. Grab your things and head on over to that big ass tent. I hope you girls enjoy your midnight snacks and, and your and your sleepovers. Me and the boys. Let's go, fellas. Jackie, Grace, the two of you will be staying at the Mattress Firm Chalet tonight for a beautiful night of rest so you can be nice and sharp to perform in tomorrow's challenge. Head on out, there's a car waiting for you. Go enjoy yourselves. On the next episode of Barstool's Most Dangerous Game Show, I voted Pat last night. He's on to you, by the way. If someone votes for me, I have to vote them out. This is nuts. Oh my. That's fucking blood. The stink pit's a tricky beast. I had so much caca in my face, I had no idea where I was at. Fuck me, man. Fuck me.